Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to take you on a tour of a 2004 Meridian 490. This is actually a yacht that Scott and I have looked at at a number of different boat shows and this time we get to get a very up close and personal tour of it. So let's check it out. We're starting here on the stern. So it's pretty roomy. Uh, you can easily put a couple chairs here, relax, enjoy the view, fantastic view. And you'll notice right away the propellers here, that's because the dinghy is up above. So it gives you lots of extra space here. They do have a propane tank here, so that tells me they probably had a grill. Um, you do have some storage uh, on both sides of the stern uh, for extra stuff. And what I'm standing on is the access to the lazarette and it's got tons of storage. So that's another key thing, you know, that we're looking for. So let's go inside and check out the salon. Come on. Wow, this is a super nice Salon. I don't think I was expecting this because you figure this is a 2004, so that's getting my math, so that's 17 years old. Uh, and this looks brand new. Oh my god, this is beautiful. They've really done some upgrades. Um, right off the bat, you'll notice this really roomy couch, and it looks like you can flip this open and then this raises up. So this serves as your dining table and a coffee table. Um, and that's key. A lot of the boats we've looked at didn't have, don't have a dining. So this is a great option. Um, it looks like this also is a sleeper. So you can also put some sleeping arrangements here for people. Um, love the shades. Keeps it nice. And yeah, those cool. are really nice. I mean, it is comfortable and it's warm today and it is very, very comfortable in here. Um, they do have a TV. Of course, got to have a TV on a boat, right? And lots of storage that you'll see here. So plenty of storage would definitely make for a great liverboard. Let's go and check out the galley. Right away, what I love about the galley is it has lots of counter space. Um, you can definitely put some appetizers right here on um, the upper counter. You've got area for prep. Uh, you could easily probably, if it doesn't come with it, you could probably make something to cover these sinks, but I bet you they do come with them. They're just stored away uh, to prep. It has a princess uh, stovetop, just like our Bayliner 4087, and a very large microwave. This is um, plenty is it, big. Is it a convection or is and it just standard? It is. Uh, looks like it's just a standard. Just a standard yeah, one. Yeah. You've got plenty of space here mm -hmm. for your um, uh, spices. It does have a trash compactor that was very common. And the one thing to note about this boat, this is a 490 Meridian. And Meridian came out about the early 2000s. So this would have been the 4988 Bayliner. So you'll see a lot of this in similarities to that model as well. Um, it has a very large refrigerator with some bubbly. And again, more storage here, which I won't lift open because it is privately owned. But this is the same as our 4087. We had this same storage here and we also had storage here. So we're pretty familiar with the way it's set up. What I do like about it is you do have actually a little bit of area here that could be set up as a bar because you have an ice maker, more storage, and then you could put, um, kind of set up a bar area here. So mm -hmm. you do have plenty of space and it is so comfortable. They've really, really done a great job with this boat. It's fantastic. So want to check out the, um, yeah, why don't we go up to the bridge and then, um, the helm station, then the upper okay. helm, and then we'll head down into the living area. Perfect. Let's head on up. This is a little narrow right here, so that would be the only thing. Um, first of all, it has a fantastic captain's chair. Yeah, that looks I really mean, comfortable. Oh my God. Um, it's electric. There's this little switch for up and down. Yeah, I mean, this thing's fancy and great visibility, whoever yeah. is sitting here. Plus, I love that you've got a second option here for guests. Mm -hmm. um, you could make it a workstation. I was going to say, even just a little home office little yep. space. This expands. Yep. And what's interesting about this model is that it actually happens to have 
It's a pilot house. So it has two pilot house doors, but this is actually an extra seat. So it looks like you can long tight. Mm -hmm. It looks like you probably, yep, flip that up. Yep. And that gives you access to the outside. Um, there's more storage up here as well, probably for your charts. More storage over here. Um, and again, great visibility from the bow. I mean, really, really easy. Yeah, really nice, clean Super helm clean. station. Just all the, I mean, there's definitely room to expand. Um, Looks still, like it's got thrusters. Yep, yep. Sold. Yeah, really nice sold, yeah. So you want to, while we're here, why don't we go outside to the bow? Yep. Move that back. Slide this open. Oh, there you go. Oh, pretty good walk around. Yeah. And I love how flat it is. Yeah. I mean, oh, and it's got seats up here. Yeah. Look at this. I'm not going to take the canvas off. This is a built-in seat. Uh huh. So you could just sit and relax while you're. Oh, cruising. that that would be awesome to going through the San Juans. Oh my god. Just enjoying it. It's got. It looks like up here we have an electric windlass. Yep. Foot controls. Yep. This isn't. Should be an anchor locker, but let's see what's in it. Actually, it's just extra. Oh, the wash down. And your wash down. Yep. That's kind of nice. It's very nice. And this is your water. So it has two water tanks. Okay. Uh, one is probably for that wash down, I'm guessing. Yeah. And I like the height of the rails. So you'll notice right away. Yeah. They have a, um, a kayak. And they're he pretty heavy duty rails too. So they're really heavy duty and they're easy to hang on to. Very secure feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But definitely um, sturdy enough to hold on to a big oh, yeah. kayak. So let's go down and check out the guest rooms. Before we get head down to the guest rooms, I'm. this is something I have actually haven't ever seen before. Um, I'm thinking it's like for a, well, it can't be a live well. So it's a hatch. But, it's, but it looks like a live well. Maybe you put that doesn't make, in it. That doesn't make any sense. Can you lift it up? We have to turn it, yeah. There you go. I think you put drinks in it. Oh yeah, maybe you maybe you just fill it up with ice. And although is there a drain? Oh no. There's no drain in it. I'm not sure what that would be used for. I mean, I guess just, it's just extra storage. I guess, but there's two of them, one on either side. I mean, it makes sense that you'd use it kind of as an ice chest, but if, without a drain. Oh, that's true. I don't hey, know why you do that. Do you know that. what this is? Yeah. I'm in the boating business and I don't know. So leave your comments down below and let us know what that is. <laughs> okay, let's okay, go back let's inside go. and then we'll go to the upper helm before we go down. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to be pretty skinny. I like that it has two accesses mm -hmm. to up here. Yes. There is a steep ladder behind you yes. that I is I would not buy a boat with a steep ladder. But, but it, it gives you access from the from the cockpit. Yeah. And so. So I like that these are fairly gradual steps. Um, plenty of seating up here. Good visibility again Great from visibility. the helm station. Yep. Um, it has a Yeti cooler with a Yeti. Um, oh, built in, yeah. Uh, cushion, so you got more seating, and then it's got a really sturdy davit system uh, crane right. for the dinghy, and the dinghy looks big too so good space up here um i would say the only i know where you're going with this <laughs> the only thing about scott and i and i know we're being so picky but we want to fully enclose yeah. the upper bridge we yeah. just do we live in the northwest it rains a lot and um when you're traveling and we like to use the bridge upper bridge to travel we're just we're not interior bridge mm -hmm. people um you get wet, believe it or not. If you check out our charter for the San Juans last September, we were on a meridian there and we were upstairs and we still got splashed yeah. by the waves. Right. So, and it was sunny, it wasn't even rainy. So, but I still love it up here. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice space. 
Um, and no, we're not taking the canvas off. Again, this is a privately owned right. uh, yacht, and we want to respect the owners. And, and you all get the idea. Yeah, and we want to respect and it. You'd have and lots of room, actually. Once you take the dinghy down, you'd actually have extra space up here to yeah. entertain and stuff. And if it was a liveaboard, you could easily just leave your dinghy, you know, down, down yeah. below or behind you or, or under your bow. So yep. you could do quite a few things up here. So it really reminds me of the Bayliner. Uh, was that the 4588 that we toured? Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of yep. that as far as up here, the, the, the setup, yep. very much so. And the other thing is this canvas is, is in fabulous shape. Yeah. It looks really good. So I'm guessing it's fairly new as well. So yeah, definitely, it definitely worth it. And I like, like it. that the dinghy has its own ca um, canvas as well. Exactly. Okay. Well, let's okay. Go check out. Let's the head canvas. downtown. A little skinny of a hallway, hmm. but that would just make me have to stay. Gives you more room in fit. the uh, in the rooms. <laughs> So let's start here on our starboard side. We have a guest day head, fully enclosed shower, and lots of room. The only thing that, again, we have all these weird things about us that we don't like or like for a living board. I wouldn't be using this bathroom as far as I know, right. or head, but you have to step into it, and I'm really short. Ah, I'm in. Oh, and it's got this weird... Um, I don't know if you can see this. This is an angle. I'll have to show you. And I'm afraid I would be stubbing my toe. But the shower is nice and big. Oh, yeah. I could fit into that. No, no problem. Yeah. And it's fully enclosed. So that's nice that it's a separate shower. Mm -hmm. But I don't get the having to... That's the way they made them back then, though. Yeah. This is not the first one we've looked at. So that closes there. Then directly across by me is a guest room and lots of space this yep. is probably a full maybe just uh, under it might a be between a full and a queen it's a good deep locker yep and no that's the back of the okay i was wondering if it re was yep. removable and you got more storage here yep so that's nice you've got good reading lights yeah lots of lights books. yep so that's great yep you could put a TV up on that wall if you really wanted you could. to. could. What, um, let's just keep on going. So what is under here? Nothing on that side, but if you slide it to the, no, no. If you slide it on the other way, that gives you access to, oh, the, plumbing to the plumbing for the master head. That's pretty cool. And bathtub. And then on your other is side. Is this washer dryer? That is a combo washer dryer. Very nice. Yep. So that's convenient. Again, makes it a little, little bit more of a liveaboard. Definitely. And now, unlike a lot of the boats we've been looking for, yes, our favorite is an aft cabin. This is a forward uh, master. So let's check it out. Mm -hmm. So it reminds me so much of that uh, 4588 right. because that had the same um, island. I was corrected. So this yeah. is an island berth. Um, I would have to step up into it. But that's okay. It's got nice steps. Actually, on that step, so you probably have a better step than you do over here. Not really. Not no, really. I need another step. So I'm I'm really short. So she's I, three foot ten for people who don't know, just for <laughs> her scale. I'm just really short. So that would be the biggest challenge: is trying to get up onto this bed for me. Um, but, but the benefit of it being so tall is... It has all this storage. Look, I mean, there's look so much storage under it. Lots. And if you recall, in the Bayliner 4088, what they did, and they've done the same thing here, but this is an actual door. The, in that video, they had a um, curtain. curtain. Yeah. But what this is, is this allows you to... Um, you could use this for storage. Mm-hmm. Um, or in this case, these are bunks yep. and you can notice these straps. What you can do is you can lift these bunks up and this becomes just like a couch, right. a day lounge. Right. Um, or a dressing room, whatever you know, you get, whatever you want. And there is access here and yep. also from here. Yep. So okay. straight from the hallway there. And then behind Scott, so let's check it out, is the master head. Again, 
This is just like the 4588. It has a tub. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand that. Um, and I would definitely, I'm not going to climb in it because it's a tub and I, I would, I would kill myself. I'm just not that talented. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably use the other shower most of the time yeah. to be now honest. That I say that. <laughs> um, pretty good storage. But still, yeah, absolutely. And I'm guessing that this is, yep, this is a, uh, I'm not going to open it because it's again private, but it does have a medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. So another hanging locker, another hanging locker behind there. the door. And, um, I like the light. And they, I'm sure they have blackout Oh, it's very shades. bright. And it looks like behind the headboard here is probably access to the anchor chain uh, where you keep your mm -hmm. anchor. So that's um, nice, easy to get to. Well, I'm glad we took a tour of this. We've seen a lot of these similar boats. Obviously, we do um, Favor, Bayliner, and Meridian, but that's because we're familiar with them. Um, I think we're going to try and maybe look at a few other things uh, this summer. Maybe we look at a trawler. We, we've we never really well, been and interested. We're headed to the Tampa Boat Show <laughs> in September. And we so. can look at quite a few more things there. So, well, we hope you like this tour. Uh, I know it's a lot similar to some of the others, but it's always fun to see how each one is a little different. And these guys have done a great job. So we appreciate you coming along on the tour with us. And we'll see you next time. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to leave your comments down below. And if there's a boat you think we should tour, be sure to leave that information down below. Also, make sure you subscribe so you find out about our future episodes coming up. Thanks, everyone.